episode 16 today i want us to check on gold analysis um uh, and because it's a new month we will be able to go from top down analysis so for me i started to trade gold but gold is crazy guys gold is very crazy like yesterday on the nfp it moves it moved around 400 pips so this is a daily time frame so the candle started around here so you see this like a cross candle that uh indecision candle because of the news the market moved 434 pips that is crazy so if you want to trade gold i can only suggest you use stop loss or if you have a big capital uh you might have a big capital or when you are um, when you are when you are when you, you don't use don't trade gold when you have small account okay don't trade gold when you have small account kindly make sure you have uh multiple accounts uh not multiple accounts like you have a bigger account don't use gold don't trade gold on a small account because you can imagine that drop of 400 pips 424 pips that was the that was the drop of gold on the nfp so i want us to analyze this gold and then again gold moves quickly so if you have a strategy on gold and and have been working on an amazing strategy by the way i have been working on a very very profitable strategy and even to think about you know um when i started i i thought i will never trade gold like i was saying i, I will not trade gold because it was too volatile and i'm a risk taker uh trader so i was saying hey i don't want to trade gold but uh in the month of april we were in the month of harvest and uh, for me, I feel like God made me harvest a strategy from him. I always tell you people that God is the giver of everything. If you need knowledge, God can give you. If you need understanding, God can give you. If you need a strategy, God can give you. And even the Bible says that acknowledge me. Every time acknowledge me, God, and I will make your path straight. And that's why I cannot stop acknowledging God and what he has done in my life. If it was not for God, I would be here doing moving average indicators, watching everything and everywhere and trying everything at the same time. And maybe it is not working for me. But now I can be able to work on a strategy. And once this strategy is, the time frame is done, I just leave it because I have been working on it and maybe God is giving me more. So if you're watching me, there's a reason why you have been watching this video there's a reason why you are watching me. And I, I think number one reason it's for you to for an encouragement because out here people are not like they're not friendly, most of those who have understood the forex. They don't have time to teach the beginners. The newbies are left there. Uh you just plan yourself, sort yourself out. And then uh, as we stayed five years, that's the talk in the industry as we stayed five years trying to know what these things does, what makes you think you'll just come one month and you get it. But for me, I'm, I always tell people, by the way, I am telling you, and this is a video that I'm doing, and even if you want to, to download it for yourself, for me, I'm saying, if you listen to me by August, I will make you a millionaire. Me, that's what I know. You keep listening to me and I'll make you a millionaire. Why? There's no way I can give you God-given wisdom and you remain the same. So just type there or comment down below. I'll be a millionaire by August. Like you will touch your first million by August. Just following simple instructions. Anyway, gold, uh, when we are doing top-down analysis, we will go from the monthly time frame. And for me, I remember telling people that yes, gold is buying, but don't think it, does, it can just buy like that because where the market reached uh, in the month of April, it was the highest, 2,433, 24. 2433 was the highest of the gold. But we can see the gold was in this channel. And channels are good because they tell us where the market is headed to. And that's the only reason I use channels. So channels are good. They give you a hands up of what the market wants to do. So the month of um, you can see clearly the month of April, the month of April, the market really pushed up. You can see this month of April, the, the market really pushed up. So the question is, why did the market just retrace? You can see that candle has some rejection because of the week. What really made this market um, go down? It's because it touched 
2413. So 2413 was the half of this, um, that was the half of that channel. And even if it reached 2413, guys, the market still proceeded to how many pips? Uh, the market went 192 pips above it. The thing is, the market, when it reaches this half, it is normally come down and it normally comes down to where it is broke. So my thoughts, my thought on on the gold, uh, on the gold, for me, I'm looking for sell opportunity. Why? Because the market is going to retest this area. So gold, you can see it dropping to 2162. And that is crazy, guys. It can drop to 2162. Um that is 1,458 pips. So there is that possibility of dropping. Another crazy thing that they can do, you know, this market is just, you cannot say, oh, this is the right thing. The other craziest now thing they can do, if USD is co continues to be weak, gold can complete the circuit. Like it can complete the pattern. And completing the pattern is asking gold at 2670. So the question is, how do we tell if they will fast retrace? Because you need to understand that if the market is going on an uptrend, so if this market is on an uptrend, uptrend, so the, the behavior of an uptrend market is retracement. So this, we call it retracement. You see this coming down, we are calling it retracement. But the question is, what makes you think that the market can go up instead of retracing just ranges in a zone you see that is not like a retracement and then finishes and that is the case with gold here it can retrace around this line 2300 around there because it's a very major zone and then later it buys so uh, staying on the monthly it is not enough time frame to tell us what exactly the market will do so you can see something like that the market can range for months and then buy or the market can retrace in the month of May and then now hit 2160, then buy. Now, um, there's nothing on the left to check because that is our highest point gold has ever been. So we only have those zones to work with. If you come to the weekly time frame, you can see the retracement now is happening. And that's what I'm saying. This is how retracement happens. You can see the market uh, retracing. Now, for me, I always, I, again, I have changed my zone from, 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 uh, from monthly. The zone is 2160, yeah, 2150. But if I check on the weekly, the market can come back to this line that they broke. Every line broken, it has to be retested. So the market can, can come at 2195. So the market dropping at 21.95 is how many pips? 1,000, 10.92, 1,000 pips. So nobody can say, oh, it will continue to sell. It will continue to buy because we don't know if the retracement is over. But if it keeps retracing, guess what? That's the area the market is going to. Now, and, and I think I did a video where I was, uh, not even a, a, a video, I did a post on Telegram and I was telling people that gold had reached, um, they had reached uh, a zone. So I don't know if I can find that. Let, let's check if we can find that. Um, we can find that, uh, what? By the way, I have the event. It's here. The event next week. This is the poster, guys. Um, I was just editing the poster, but then I edit my own posters. So this is the event. Uh, it will be happening. Am I sharing? Let me have a new share. Yes, I think I'm sharing it. So the event will be happening on 10th of May. Uh, it is 12K, $100 for those who will be virtual. You can pay for this event. I'll send you the recording. One day Forex Masterclass. We are learning about forex fallacy. Fallacy is information that is not true. There are so many things that people think it is true in forex. The misconception, DW strategy, OPT strategy, trade psychology, risk management, how to grow a small account. So don't miss out on this one day forex masterclass. Just WhatsApp me and ask for payment details and pay for this. If you're international, if you're not in Kenya, I will send you the recording or I will help you to get the link to stream live. 
anyway, guys, let's go back to uh, to gold. So as I was saying, I hope I'm back to the chat. As I was saying, I had said that gold is coming to a very strong zone and the market came to that strong zone and, and got rejected. And now on the daily again, if you adjust, now it's not 21.95, so you keep adjusting. So on the weekly, if you check here, this is the line on the daily. You can see this is a red candle here. But if I check on the weekly, it is a bit down. The market is a bit, the resistance is a bit down here. So on the daily, it's different. So all, the, all these are zones that the market uh, wants to break. Again, the market is on a very strong support area. You can see these are very st strong support area. So the market is wondering, uh, not wondering, the market cannot wonder. People are wondering what the market will do because it has ranged for three good days. I told you guys, anytime you see three candles in the market, it's the ranging on lower time frame. So if we go to four hour, it's a ranging. If I go to three hours, to 30 minutes. So this market is ranging. The question is, do we come out of this ranging or what will happen uh, out of that ranging? Will we, will we break out or will we break in? So gold, gold has that. It has not confirmed buy. It has not confirmed sell. But if it keeps dropping, they just want to retest these two areas. And the overall is the monthly area. You can see. So gold, if they break this channel, they just want to do retracement so that they can be up and going. For me, I still feel uh, gold is bullish according to monthly, but every market that goes on an uptrend needs to do a retracement. So if you are trading on um, Monday, if markets open on Monday, it's not it's not advisable to trade inside here. And, and this is a channel that has so many pips. It is, has so many pips. It's a channel that has 500, 500. And that's why you keep, many people keep blowing their account because you're trading inside this, this channel and it has not declared if it wants to buy or sell. And that's why it can buy and then sell, buy and then sell. So it is ranging. So wait for the market to come out of the zone 2278 or 2328 for you to know which direction the market wants. So thank you so much. I'll be doing, I will, do, but tomorrow I will post videos on, on the major pairs and the D, I will do each and every individual in my thoughts that you can prepare come on Monday. So all the best guys. See you in the next one. Love you.